In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord announced unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and in our Father, Father Amen. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, now and in the hour of our Father, Father Amen. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray all together. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance always remain with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is offered for the souls of Eric Fernandez, Colbert Peter Fernandez, and Christine Xavier. Kindly join us in singing, Come Fill My World. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, during this Eucharist, we pray in a special way for all our children, especially those appearing for their board exams. The twelfth exams will begin this week. Ten standard will follow soon. We pray that the Holy Spirit may truly enlighten all our children, guide them. And we also pray in a special way for their parents. Quite often in our day and age, we see that it is the parents who are more stressed than the children when it comes to the exams. We pray that the Lord may calm your anxiety and assure you of His comforting presence. Let us begin this Eucharist by acknowledging our sins and so preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray.
prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people saying, See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you today by loving the Lord your God, by walking in his ways and by keeping his commandments and his statutes, and his rules, then you shall live and multiply, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to take possession of it. But if your heart turns away and you will not hear, but are drawn away to worship other gods and serve them, I declare you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not live long in the land that you are going over the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore, choose life that you and your offspring may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying his voice, and holding fast to him. For he is your life and length of days, that you may dwell in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly join the choir in singing the antiphon. Blessed indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor abides in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Not so are the wicked, not so, for they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord knows the way of the just, but the way of the wicked will perish. Kindly 
kindly rise. Repent, says the Lord, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O God. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and the scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. And Jesus said to all, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The readings of today, my dear friends, offer us a choice. If we choose to follow the Lord, then we have to be faithful to His commandments. And quite often, following the commandments may give us the impression that God is a taskmaster. And yet, one must come to the understanding or rather renew one's own conception of God, that God is not a taskmaster. He is like a parent who only desires the good of his children. And quite often, we can be like children at times, rebellious and wanting to do our own thing. And yet, what Moses told the people in the Old Testament, the season of Lent, right at the very beginning, puts before us. To choose life is to walk in the ways of the Lord. And to walk in the ways of the Lord, my dear friends, is not easy, as Jesus himself reminds us in today's gospel. To walk as the Lord expects us, we are called to deny ourselves, take up our daily crosses. In fact, in the Gospel of Luke, it is emphasized to take up your cross daily. Following Christ is not a seasonal choice. It is a choice and a decision to follow Him unconditionally and without any reservation. Difficult and challenging as the call may be, what we need to realize that it is only when we follow the Lord, it is only when we walk along the path that he sets before us, can we have life and life in abundance. As we have entered this grace-filled season, which invites us to reorient our lives, to truly develop a sense of inner repentance, let us ask the Lord for the grace that we may follow him wholeheartedly, always with the assurance that even as we follow him along the way of the cross, we are not alone. Our Lord walks with us. He is there to support us and comfort us.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds made pure so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Those watching at home may now make their spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Kindly join us in singing a new commandment.
Let us pray. Having received the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now have a special prayer for all our children. I request you, wherever you are, please come forward as all of us gathered here will pray for you. Come, come. Don't. I invite all the people to please extend your right hand towards them as I pray. Heavenly Father, 
we bring before you all these children of our parish who will soon be appearing for their exams. Lord, you know the hard work and the sincerity of the efforts that they have put in. We ask you to enlighten each one of them with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Guide their minds and their hands with your eternal wisdom that they may answer all their papers with diligence and sincerity. Take away all fear and anxiety from their hearts and comfort them with the assurance that you are always with them, especially in the all-important examination of life itself. We ask you to bless their parents, teachers, friends, and all those who have continuously accompanied them and supported them along the way and made this challenging year less burdensome. Finally, Lord, we ask you to bless each one of these children with an attitude to cherish hard work and lovingly accept your will for them in their lives. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invoke the Holy Spirit as we sing, Spirit of the Living God. So we wish each one of you all the best. You have put in your hard work. Now entrust yourself to God's hands and don't be afraid. All of us are praying for you. Be assured and do well in your exams. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God, who have made known to your people the ways of eternal life, lead them by that path we pray to you, the unfading light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. Can you join us in singing if you wish to be my disciple? i 